take you into the master suite, I'd like to explain some things to you first. This used to be a plain white door, no big deal, but you know what it took you to was a round entry into the master suite. There was a doorway on the right to the bedroom and a doorway on the left to the bathroom. Hmm, so let me get this right. If you wanted to use your bathroom, you walked from the master bedroom into the entrance and then into the bathroom. How convenient. Now when you enter this master vestibule area, there is one entryway, but nothing to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, how are they gonna get to the bathroom? As we walk into this room, we look over this direction. This was just a unused niche. This is going to encompass a great big piece of art. Gorgeous glassware and things on the sides and on left and right. And then a chest of drawers down here for them to put their clothes in. These are some amazing custom designed iron pieces that fit into the windows. You know that we do this on a regular basis. And look here, these actually open. Straight in front of the bed, we're gonna have a couple of chairs, an ottoman, a place for the husband and wife to sit in front of this gorgeous fireplace, which is still in the process of being made as we speak. And then, oh my gosh, an entrance to the bathroom. In fact, a beautiful wood stained panel door to get there. So there's still privacy from the bedroom, but look at this. This opening isn't just a walkthrough, it's actually a mini library. This is a spa shower. This gorgeous frameless glass door with a transom window that tilts above. It takes you to a spa and a steam shower. I've never done a steam shower before. This is Calcutta gold marble. This stuff that's inlaid is limestone. So that's what I did on the floor of the rest of the bathroom. This limestone is called seagrass limestone. I think it's gorgeous. So it's both on the platform and on the floor. Now, let me show you the vanities that I designed for these two. Wife is over here, husband's over here. Let's go check them out. So the sink, does it remind you of the tub? It should, because we tried to make a match. I love the oval mirrors I did above, and then these lights on either side are really so cool. We put in a little spa bench over here. We had this custom made to fit in. This bathroom used to have two openings to the walk-in closet, one here and one on the other side. I closed this one in for two reasons. We could use this space on this side and we could use it on the closet side. But the second reason was, why do you need two entrances to a closet? That's just silly. So here's a great mirror on the way into this amazing custom closet. Let's go. Hello, is this the closet of most women's dreams? She's got a beautiful area here where she can put her purses. She has chest of drawers underneath. So this is all for the wife. This area here is for the husband. And then this wall is probably my favorite because look, nothing but shoes for her. Imagine just a year ago walking through this white door into this turret that had two openings, one to the bedroom and one to the master bathroom. I love this collection of varied different types of frames, different sizes, different shapes, different orientations, and these absolutely breathtaking sconces that actually have quartz inlaid inside of them. We call him the Roaring Twenties. It should be a her, but we call it a him. We love it. Swanky. Big, huge, eight inch baseboards wrap around this dark wood floor and lead us on into the master bedroom. When I got here, this room did not look anything like this. 
there was an empty niche over to the side of which we have now filled with a beautiful chest of drawers that is built in. When I do my custom built-ins, I always add lights to each individual shelf. I wanted to keep this color scheme very light with a lot of creams and off-whites. My idea was this, add in my impressionistic artwork some paintings that have this gorgeous periwinkle blue. Periwinkle is kind of a blue and a purple added together. They call it periwinkle and I think it just adds such a freshness to this room. This has to be my all-time favorite bed I've ever designed. It is gorgeous alder wood and a very dark, rich finish with this amazing canopy that goes across the top. I added white sheets, white pillowcases with all of the off-white, which is a color combination a lot of people don't think you can do. They think if you've got off-white or ivory or tan, you can't use white with it. I do it all the time and I think it's really, really fresh. You often see that when I do lamps in front of windows, I choose something you can see through. That way you really get the biggest bang for your buck and you take advantage of the natural light. We did add a horizontal stripe rug underneath of this bed. It does ground this space beautifully and it stops right at this point where we have this awesome area for husband and wife to sit in front of the fire. You know, this did not used to look like this. A year ago when I got here, that was a cheesy fireplace. 12 by 12 ceramic tiles around in the fireplace and a plant on mantle. Just didn't do it for me. And it didn't do it for them either. Before I take you through the bathroom, I do think you need to see the before pictures to really fully appreciate what we did. There were pop-outs where the vanities were actually kind of stuffed inside all this drywall, breaking everything up. The thing that stuck out to me the most was this <clears throat> shower. That definitely had to go. Is this the most beautiful bathroom? Honey, how was your day? You look great in bubbles. It's big enough for two people and it's a great soaker tub. These are inlaid mother of pearl handles that are on these cabinet doors. Are those just like jewelry for your cabinets? Yeah. Over here, we have the same kind of thing for the wife. And let's not miss this. I'd love to take a bath in here, but you know what I'd like to do even more? Take a shower. Okay, leave me a comment. How many individual stones do you think there are in this? Unfortunately, we will never know, <laughs> so can't offer a prize. But I just think that there must be a million, at least a million. This is how I would do it. After I'd come out of my shower, I'd head over this way and I'd put on my little robe, my little spa robe, and I'd probably come sit over here on my little spa chair and I'd pull out my spa towel and I'd just lather up my legs, something like that. So I'd walk in in my little spa robe and I'd head over to my absolutely to die for closet. Pick out a suit or a blouse, or maybe I feel like something colorful. I'd get myself a matching bag, or I'd get myself something fancy, or maybe, maybe it would even be a Saturday night, and I'd say, honey, let's go someplace special. Hello? I would pull down my upper long hang wardrobe and I'd pick out something absolutely fabulous. Then I'd walk over here and I would hang it up and I would pick out my absolutely fabulous shoes to go with it. I love what I do for a living. I just wish I got to live here too. <laughs> But that's okay. I can live vicariously through everyone else. Honey, I'm ready!
this concludes this series. I'm so glad you've been with us through it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. And look, you can sit here, and as soon as you do, it goes...